In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to apply a unique values render to a layer. All right, we're going to do so uh, through the floodplain layer that I've already added to my map. So I'm going to click on floodplains to activate that layer. And then from there, I'll go to the appearance tab on the feature layer contextual menu, select the drop down arrow for symbology, and select unique values. Now, what unique values does uh, is it, uh, it works on uh, typically on a text uh, data type field. And what it will do is it will, based on the field that you select, it will very quickly examine the contents of your field and look for unique values across the field that you selected. So in this case, I'm going to select flood zone. Now, before I do that, let's take a look at the attribute table for flood zones. If I right click on floodplains, open the attribute table, I've got lots of different uh, fields in here, but uh, the one that we're gonna focus in on here is the flood zone field. And so this is a good uh, field to use for unique value rendering. And uh, you can see it contains various uh, uh, categorical uh, types of data. And so what the unique value renderer will do is it'll very quickly scan this field and look for uh, unique categories of values. Right? And so if I select on flood zone as my field. You'll notice down in the classes that it has identified uh, four separate classes uh, in my attribute field. Um, now, so from here, it, it just assigns default uh, renderings, right? Default symbols to use. And so from here, I'm going to make this, want to make this a little bit more intuitive. And uh, this 0.2% annual uh, change or chance of a flood, that's actually the 500 year flood plane. And uh, so what I'll do here is um, I will. Um, left click to bring up the symbol gallery. And then I'm just gonna do a quick search for water here. And I've got a lot of different things here I can use, but I'm gonna select water intermittent for this particular layer. You can see that it's applied uh, that uh, symbol to the 500 year floodplain, and we'll change the labels here in just a moment. Now my A and AE, these are effectively 100 year floodplain. So there's a, a much higher likelihood of these areas flooding than the 500 year floodplain. These are, you know, they're, even though they're different, they are similar. Uh, one is a more accurate way of determining a flood zone than the other. But for our case, for our purposes here, we're going to assign both of these as the 100-year floodplain. And uh, so again, I'll assign a value. Just look for water. Assign this one as water. We'll do the same thing for AE. And then the last one we'll do here is X, and, and X is essentially out of a floodplain. And so in this case, I'm just going to right click and select, um, I don't guess it matters too much exactly what we use here. We'll use Topaz Sand. Now we got the general categories correct, right? So our A and AE, these are our 100 year floodplains. And as I said before, these are very similar categories. They're both 100 year floodplains, it's just the, the way. The methods that were used to determine these are, is slightly different. One's a little bit more accurate than the other. But for our cases here, what I want to do is I actually want to join these two categories together. So in my classes pane, you'll notice that I have selected both of these categories and you can just hold your shift key down on your keyboard while you're using the mouse to select multiple rows. And now with these two rows selected, I can right click and select group values. And what that will do is it'll group those two together into one. So now instead of having four different categories, I actually have three. Uh, now I may also want to change my labels. So for a label here, I'm going to change this to 500 year floodplain. I'll change A and AE to 100 year floodplain. And we'll set X to be out of the floodplain. All right, there we go. And you can see as you're looking at your data, this uh, starts to, to make sense uh, as to what's in and out of the floodplain. And so thank you for joining me for this demonstration.